So another issue that I don't think the investors anticipated is that in many cases, consumers prefer human interaction over AI. So let's also consider the high versus reality and the disconnect that's there. So despite the buzz, many AI solutions lack clear ROI and companies are struggling to measure real returns on their investments. And this is core to the reason that we're gonna see a correction. I think many enterprises are doing so, but we're not able to see the pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. So in other words, they're picking the wrong business problems to solve by using AI tools and AI approaches. And ultimately that's going to cause an issue because if they're picking the wrong use cases, they're going to fail to deliver value back to the business from utilization of AI. Okay, they do that three or four times, it's gonna be a real problem because AI is very expensive to deploy. And so if they're picking AI as their solution of choice, they're gonna be spending a lot of money. And if they're gonna be spending a lot of money, they need to see a, sub a substantial return you know, at the end of the process. And that's what's occurring. That's what's not occurring now, according to the MIT survey and lots of other anecdotal information that I see, even ones that are sponsored by companies that produce AI tools. So the anecdotal information and the formal information that we're seeing out there is that most enterprises are not succeeding with AI and they're not likely to succeed with AI probably for the next couple of years until they update their talent, until they update their expectations, update their core processes and become realistic in terms of how they can apply this technology to make it work for their business. And I think that the market is kind of running out of runway. And I think we're going to see that probably within the next six months. I think it's going to be two or three different corrections that occurs over a few weeks as many of the investors do some panic selling in the marketplace because suddenly they realize that, hey, we've invested a lot of money in, this, in the potential of this technology, but we're not seeing a lot of value that's coming out of it. So let's remove our dollars from the marketplace now. So another issue that I don't think the investors anticipated is that in many cases, consumers prefer human interaction over AI. Obviously, they're excited about providing AI to deal with customer service and sales situations and provide better customer experiences. But in many cases, the customers, the humans that are actually buying stuff from these companies are pushing back on it. So increasingly, consumers value authentic, uh, you know, authenticity and human connection over AI generated content, which is contradicting the belief that AI alone can drive brand success. It doesn't seem to be working out as much as people thought. And so even though you receive a customized uh, interaction with a particular company because they're leveraging AI as a weapon, a weapon to you to in order to you to buy more products and services. Um, businesses and also users, human beings are pushing back on that.